So how do we reach the next stage? What is the rubbing of the hearts? I want something, the other one wants something, the third, the fourth. What does it mean that we rub our hearts against each other? It's like you have a bag, and in it, uh, just like in this hall, let's say, you have what, 300 people here? About 300 people, right? What does it mean, rubbing together 300 hearts? There's a bag holding them and pressing them together, who is the bag? It's the Creator, Look, closing in on us, so that we feel each other. And we necessarily need to feel it. How will we do the rubbing part? What is the rubbing? And the friction, right, yeah, of course. What is that friction? That we each want to enter the friend's heart, and we can't. So we keep rubbing and rubbing. It's like the drops of sperm that want to enter the womb, and they, they keep pounding and pounding until they enter. It's literally the same. It's the same action. Because every one enters the other, it's just like the male and female in, in a mutual way. And so we do the rubbing part. What is that rubbing? What do I express by that? That I want to enter into the friend? Huh? What? Come on. Oh, well, what appears, I don't know. What do I want to discover in this rubbing? that I want to accept him into my heart. So every, everyone is rubbing against each other. And that's why the warmth comes about. And how does that warmth help us? What does this warming indicate? judgments, dinim, that we are incapable, but warmth already extends. We pray, I want my heart to shatter and open and take in the other hearts, but it doesn't happen yet, that's why only sparks emerge and fly out. And that is called dinim, judgment. And after that comes fire. And the fire is where even though the heart is closed, the judgments come out and then there is integration, and this whole bur bag becomes one burning fire.